Mandeep Kaur, uh, teaching faculty from Kalikas Nursing Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the anatomy of the eyeball. So eyeball is a sense organ. Uh, so it is a sensor uh, responsible for the sense of vision. So it is supplied by the second cranial nerve that is the optic nerve. It is situated in the orbital cavity or we can say the eye socket. So let's see about the structure of the eye. So first of all we are going to discuss about the layers of the eye. So in the layers of the eye, first outermost layer or we can say the tunica fibrosa, it is consists of the sclera posteriorly and anteriorly it consists of the cornea. Cornea is a transparent layer which allow the light to enter into the eye wall. So sclera is the mainly the collagen or fibrous layer which act as the protective covering for the eye wall. So in the middle there is a tunica uh, vasculosa. So it is also known as the choroid. Choroid is a highly pigmented and highly vascular layer. So it is a nutritive layer. So the main work of choroid is to provide the nutrition. So then innermost layer is the retina. So it is the tunica nervosa. So retina is of two, uh, made up of two layers. So one is the highly pigmented layer which is responsible for the absorption of the light which enters into the eye wall. And then here it is the neural layer. So neural layer consists of the rods and the corn cell which are responsible for the sense of vision which passes the message to the brain and there the image is formed. So then finally, uh, let's see about the front structure, anterior structure. So after cornea, there is a iris. It is a muscular layer. Iris is also posteriorly joined with the ciliary body. So ciliary body is ideally responsible for the production of the aqueous humor. Aqueous humor is the fluid which is responsible to maintain the intraocular pressure of the eye. So normal intraocular pressure is 18 to 20 mm of Hg. So in uh, iris, in between the iris, there is a space which is known as the pupil. So pupil is the entryway for the light through the lens inside the eye. So uh, the diameter of the pupil is responsible for the adjustment of the light during the daytime and during the nighttime. So the diameter can vary from 2 mm to 8 mm depending on the light available for the vision. So in over here, ciliary body, ciliary bodies consist of ciliary processes and ciliary muscle. Ciliary processes and muscle uh, help to hold the lens in the space. So when we talk about iris, iris also do an important function. Iris divide the uh, interior chamber and put, uh, divide the uh, front of the eye into interior chamber and the posterior chamber. So in front of the lens, Iris, uh, in front of the iris, this is a anterior chamber. And behind the iris, there is a posterior chamber. So the uh, aqueous humor is produced in the posterior chamber and it overflow into the anterior chamber. At the junction of the cornea and the sclera, there is a canal of Schlem. It is an opening from where the aqueous humor is drained out. So except canal of Schlem, there is also one more opening that is the trabecular meshwork which also helps to drain out the extra aqueous humor and it helps to maintain the intraocular pressure of the eye. So then let's see about the lens. Lens is a crystalline structure which is just similar to the peels of the onion. So lens is also a transparent structure. It is also there for the uh, transmission of light from outside to the inside of the eye. So uh, after the lens, there is a posti uh, uh, there is one more space that is known as the vitreous body and it contains the vitreous humor. So vitreous humor is a jelly-like fluid which helps to maintain the shape of the eyeball or we can say that it is the innermost uh, part which helps to uh, make the shape spherical of the eyeball. So inside the eyeball now here in the retina there is a depression which is known as the yellow spot or macula yellow spot or macula. So this is a fine area which contain maximum number of corn cells and it is responsible for the fine vision. 
So at the end of the posterior of the uh, eyeball, there is a optic base. It is also known as the blind spot because it does not contain any rod or cone cells. So in the optic base, there is the exit of the optic nerve which is responsible for the vision.